flying is associated with an increased risk of deep vein thrombosis. Uh, interesting to me, as I sit in the airplane and see people consume huge amounts of alcohol and coffee, uh, that in the actual airline magazines they encourage you not to do that because uh, those are factors which uh, increase the risk for deep vein thrombosis. Uh, there have been some very important studies which have been sponsored by the World Health Organization looking at the relationship of deep vein thrombosis to travel. And for every four hours of a long haul flight, the uh, risk of deep vein thrombosis actually doubles. And uh, when one looks at the incidence or the amount of deep vein thrombosis which may occur on long haul flights, it boils down to a number of one person in 6,000 will have the risk of suffering from a deep vein thrombosis. Now if that were the only problem, that would be bad enough. The problem with deep vein thrombosis is that the, the clot can mobilize from the leg or the uh, pelvis where the thrombosis forms and move to the lung. This is what we call a pulmonary embolism. This can be fatal or can cause very, very severe illness. Just very re recently, one of our associates had this problem after a long haul flight from Europe to Chicago, got off the plane, collapsed. The next thing he knew is that he was in a Chicago hospital on life support systems. Um, he was a very fortunate individual uh, in that he survived. He had cardiac complications from this issue. Uh, what were the risk factors? The risk factors were number one, the travel, the length of travel. Uh, he was uh, unfortunate in that he also picked up H1N1 virus uh, in the destination that he'd been to, didn't realize it, didn't feel well, but as most of us do, pressed on saying, I'll get home, I'll be fine. Well, he nearly didn't get home. So deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism are very significant issues. Uh, what are the risk factors? Uh, Flight, extremes of length, very short people, very tall people, and that's partly because of the mobilization during the travel. Uh, overweight individuals uh, are at increased risk. And then, of course, one needs to be careful of taking sedation and sleeping medication on flights. Why that is dangerous, it decreases one's mobility. One sits in a single position for a longer time, and that is the time when deep vein thrombosis is likely to occur. Hydration is very important. Drink lots of water. And water being the significant and important uh, fluid and liquid to take. Uh, the warnings against alcohol and caffeinated beverages are there because both of those tend to cause a, a relative or significant dehydration. Dehydration is related to an increased risk of deep vein thrombosis. So the, there are significant risks which can be uh, diminished by mobility. Get up every two hours or every three hours, take a walk around the plane. Of course one's got to be careful about tripping over, over the feet of people who insist on putting them in the passageways of the plane and pillows etc. But it's important to do that. Get mobile, move the feet, move your calves and uh, decrease that risk of deep vein thrombosis.